Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and here's an update to the accident that I witnessed literally as it happened. Unfortunately, I didn't have my iPad in my hand. I unfortunately don't have my GoPro camera. I walked out of the door to let Fluffy out and saw this black truck coming down the street at a fairly high rate of speed. Then I saw a black tire snap off the truck. The truck went like this at a list. The tire bounced, hit the ground, went up about 20 feet in the air. Um, heard this boom, went back in quickly to grab the phone. He crushed the side of a red Saturn owned by the elderly woman. And then he proceeded to, across the intersection. Now, this is the intersection that uh, it, it's the unlucky intersection. It's had a fire hydrant wiped out, a tree fell down. Uh, fire hydrant hit a car. I mean, not fire hydrant. A car hit uh, the fire hydrant, and a car hit another car at the same spot. So this is the fourth incident since I've lived here. But I saw it. And the guy in the truck hit a white car, crushed the back end of that car, crushed the right side of the truck. This was black Dodge Ram truck. He sat there till the police arrived. Four police cars showed up, and. They asked him if he'd been drinking. He said yes, he'd been drinking beer. They did the walking test, which he failed. He was staggering, and they frisked him and put all his property in an envelope and took him away in handcuffs. So the poor lady driving the red truck, uh, red 4x4 four four, uh, Saturn was sobbing because I talked to her. She's an elderly woman. I don't know if she lives here or not. She said all she had was basic insurance. She did not have... Uh, uninsured motorist coverage. She did not have coverage. If someone hits your car, you get paid for the car. So I don't know what she's going to do. And the people in the white car, their tenants here, and she's upset because her car, the back end is just demolished. So I didn't catch what kind of car it was. But this guy sat there without a scratch on him. And that always seems to be a case with drunks. I've never understood getting behind a car wheel when you're drunk. Stay in the restaurant, stay home, or don't go out drunk at all. Stay home. Why do you need to drink? All right, so uh, they're now towing the truck away, and I literally missed getting this on video by a couple of seconds. If it happened a minute or two later, that I would have gotten it live. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Don't drink and drive people, and stay safe out there if you can. And stay warm tonight. 31 here tonight, and I'm going out to feed the cats. Bye-bye for now.